Hello, my friend, Carl Michael Pilsler is here. So excited, really am, to come to you again today to bring you a message of hope for life and business. My message is leadership, becoming a better leader, a person of influence, a difference maker. And I feel very honored to be part of IBB Talks, this global vision, and uh, we're reaching around the world with this message, especially inspiring better business for people who are in business, starting business, and wanting to do business the right way. So thank you for giving me the chance to talk to you today about leadership again. This is all based upon my book, The ABC Leader, where we have 26 qualities, 26 words that uh, are important to leadership. Today, we have the letter Y. Y, and uh, I decided to talk about youth. And when I talk about youth, I don't only mean youth. I don't only mean like young people or teenagers, though I mean them really uh, in a big way. And I honestly have a big heart for young people and the youth. I have six children, and I used to be a youth pastor of my own church, actually. When the church was much younger, uh, I was uh, the senior pastor, and I was the youth pastor as well. So it was a great, great time. So I've always had this heart for young people. But I'm talking specifically about the next generation. And the true leader knows the importance of the next generation. Now, the next generation, that is a little broader, I believe, because uh, for me, the next generation does not necessarily mean, though it, though it does, but not necessarily mean uh, younger people or youth. The next generation to me is also all the people coming after us, be behind us. That could be at your place of work or your business or your church, somebody that's maybe younger in the faith or uh, hasn't been so long in the company or not so long part of the business, but you bring them on. You teach them. You, you bring them towards uh, the next level. You raise them up, so, so to speak. So it could even be somebody that's older than you, Probably in many cases not, but it could be. Uh, everyone coming behind us. Of course, today we have five generations alive. You know, we have uh, the great generation, then we have the, the baby uh, boomers, the baby busters, we have the millennials, and we have the generation Z. Uh, so we're actually living in a time where we have five generations alive, and you can study that further if you like to. I'm not going to do this in this video, but uh, all these generations have a different way of thinking, different mindset, uh, grown up in a different era, and uh, sometimes there's much misunderstanding between the generations as well. But uh, that's not the, the message of this video, but our heart in investing in the next generation this could be young people, could be youth. Maybe you have a children's ministry in your church. You should. That should be a big part of your church and a youth ministry as well. But it also means anybody coming behind us in the next generation. Let us invest in young people. Uh, make that a priority in your business. It is important. Do you have a successor? Uh, John Maxwell says, success without a successor is not success. Boom. That is really a strong statement, but it is 100% true. Uh, we need to raise up people that, that can take on the baton, that can uh, uh, lead the church after we are gone, that can take over the business after we are gone, investing in young people uh, to take over. And they need us, really. Believe me, they need us. We need them. Surely we do but they need us. Think about this. If this is the first time in history since this, this uh, technical internet revolution. The first time in history 
where this generation does not need us for information. They know everything. And uh, Dr. Google, Professor Google, all of online world, within seconds you have all the information you need about any topic you want to research. It's easy. When I was a child, if I wanted to know something, I had to ask my dad, I had to ask my mom to get the information. And I had to ask my teacher, but today, this time is over. They know more than we do. They know more than we do about subjects that we have never heard of. But they need us, listen to me, the next generation needs us leaders for wisdom and for interpretation. Because they may know everything, but do they, do they know how to apply it, how to interpret it, to use it, and to handle that information? So let us, with love and compassion and patience, invest into the next generation. All people coming after us, especially the young and the youth and all others coming behind us.